And you know, that's the biggest problem with social media today. A lot of capping. Hello there everyone, it's Nat here, aka The Wolf of Watertown, and today we're going to be breaking down net worth by age. A lot of people make the mistake of confusing your income for their wealth. However, your net worth is a better indicator of your wealth. Your net worth is simply what you own minus what you owe. So what you own, that can be anything from your house, cars, jewelry, anything valuable, your bank accounts, anything that actually holds a value to it that is your possession. You subtract all your debt from this, which will include anything such as student loans, car, mortgage, any type of payment or debt that you still owe from everything you actually own. And that's how you get your net worth. Calculating your net worth is a really helpful tool, especially to keep track of all the progress you've been making. Looking at the average will help you compare yourself to your peers, not really in the sense of competition, but just to see where you weigh on the scale. It will help inspire what's known as the Bannister effect. So quick story. Roger Bannister was a track and field runner who ran the mile. During his era of track and field, scientists and doctors believed that the four minute mile could not be broken. They literally said that a human would die if they made the attempt at the process. But eventually, he ended up breaking the four minute mile with a time of 3.59. Prior to him breaking the four minute mile barrier, no one had ever done it in the history. Literally, that same week after he broke the four minute mile, a few more people went under that four minute mile. And then as the weeks went by, more and more people began to break the four minute mile barrier. This just goes to prove that our mind is a lot stronger than we think it is. And as soon as you see someone do something, something triggers within you that allows you to know that this is an achievable goal and I too can achieve it. My hope is that by looking at the average net worth, if you fall short, this is motivation to you in order to get to where you need to be. All the information I'm producing today comes from the National Reserve Board Survey of Consumer Finances. Make sure you watch this video to the end because I will be discussing ways to easily increase your net worth and surpass the national average. The mean net worth is $748,800 in the United States. Yes, this kind of shocked me too, but don't be startled. This number is highly inflated due to the ultra rich. So I decided to take a look at the median or midpoint to see what the average person like myself and you is actually worth in the United States. It turns out that the median net worth is $121,700. So now let's look at the different age groups and break down how much each demographic is actually worth. So for people 35 and under, the average net worth is $13,900. This is because this crowd is typically just starting out with their careers. They might be supporting a family. And of course, they still have the dreaded student debts. Typically, someone in this age group is just starting out their career and isn't quite established yet in life. This age group is typically going to be a new homeowner or someone who hasn't yet purchased their first home. Now, a fun fact that I came across while doing this research is that the average homeowner has a net worth of $255,000. However, the average renter has a net worth of $6,300. That's your cue. So let's go back to talking about the 35 and under group. These people typically have a low income and a high amount of debt. The majority of people in this group have also yet to start thinking about retirement. And whenever they do start thinking about this, it's going to take a long time for the snowball effect of compound interest and investing to actually pay off to their advantage. Now let's take a look at the 35 to 44 year group. The average net worth here is $91,000. $300. This is a big jump from the 35 and under. This group of people are going to be more established in their careers and have a much higher income. Also have new responsibilities such as growing families and babies. Yes, kids. People in the 35 to 44 year group have also probably purchased a home at this point, which will greatly increase their net worth as well. This is because by paying money to your mortgage, instead of renting or living with a family member, you're paying equity into an appreciating asset. At this point too, we're hoping that individuals in this age group have started their retirement accounts. However, the large majority of them still have not even thought about retirement yet. All right, guys, now let's see what the 45 to 54 age group is all about. At this point, the average net worth is 
$600. First things first, the kids move out. So this helps out with the budget and raises the net worth a little bit. At this point in your life, you're probably staying in the same home you purchased or you upgraded. Now what's surprising to me is that even at this age group, a lot of people still fail to establish their retirement account. What was also surprising, but not as much surprising, is that debt typically increases in this age group. And that is because luxuries are a lot more common. People might buy a lavish car or might upgrade their houses even. And typically the logic or rationale they give themselves for this is I work hard so I deserve it. So now let's take a look at what the 55 to 64 year group is all about. Typically with the housing situation in this age group, not much has changed. Usually people might downsize because the kids have moved out and they realize they don't need as much space anymore. At this point in life too, you actually see a decrease in income. And this is because you're working less hours and you're less productive. A lot of people who started investing at a young age in this age group start to see a lot of benefits and returns from their investments compounding throughout the years. Even though the income has decreased, Take note that I mentioned that the net worth is actually higher now than it's ever been at any previous point. This is due to having a mortgage that's been paid down and also being to buy a lot of your major end items in cash. If you're able to pay for things in cash, that means you don't need to finance it, which means you stay out of debt. Now we're gonna take a look at 65 to 74. Oh yes, we're getting up there for sure. The average net worth here is $266,400. Now let's keep in mind, the typical retirement age is 65 years old. This means that your ability to produce income is greatly diminished. So your net worth will not increase like it was in previous years. At this point in your life, people are starting to draw money from their investments and are working less if working at all. Healthcare needs also tend to rise in this age group. I'm talking to you with the vape pen, put it away. Now this is gonna be a big burden on those who are unhealthy or it's gonna be a burden on their families. And if you have minimum healthcare coverage, it's even worse. Now let's take a look at our final group, the 75 and older. Now this is the first time that an individual's net worth will decrease throughout their life. The average net worth here is $254,800. Now the net worth might decrease, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Typically people in this age group are enjoying life and spending the money that they've worked so hard to attain. Now this is considering the fact that they're not actually running out and they can support themselves throughout the duration of the rest of their lives. After all, None of us know when exactly we're gonna die. So it's important to enjoy life and do some of the fun things that we actually enjoy doing. At this point, you're not working and you have a very low income. This is either money you're taking out of your retirement or your social security, whatever kind of plan you have for retiring. Now, even though calculating your net worth and knowing where you are is good for keeping progress with yourself, it's not the end all be all to determining when you're gonna be financially independent. For instance, let's say we have an individual who owns a home that's worth $5 million and has about a million dollars worth of luxury vehicles. This means the individual has a net worth of $6 million. However, the problem comes because this person has no income producing assets. On the other hand, you can have someone who has a net worth of $300,000, but yet be financially retired. So Nat, how do I determine when I'll be financially independent or if I am financially independent? So in order to determine this, you need to take your annual passive income and subtract your annual total expenses. And the only way you can do this and be successful is by growing your investments so you can establish more passive income. I promised I'd give you guys some easy ways to increase your net worth. So here we have it. Number one, pay down debt. Paying down debt is a guaranteed return on your investment and ensures that your net worth increases because now the number that you're subtracting, your debt from whatever your assets are is lower. So naturally your net worth increases. Two, you wanna invest in appreciating assets that use the power of compound interest to make you money. Your body can only work for so long, so put your money to work for you. Three, you wanna decrease expenses Maybe even consider living a minimalist lifestyle. You'd be shocked to see half the things you spend money on are things you don't really need at all. Four, you want to increase your income either at your W-2 9 to 5 job or find a side gig that can make you some money on the side. And finally, you want to trust the process. This method has been tried and true. 
It's really about honing the fundamentals. You don't need to do anything fancy. Just stay consistent and be firm in your beliefs. So now that you know the average net worth by age, let me know how do you feel you rank up? What do you think you could do to improve that? And what other insight do you want to provide that could help out the group? Thank you all for tuning in this week. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, or anything that you would like to add to the conversation. Make sure to also hit that bell button so you get notifications on all of my follow-up videos. Have a good one.